When is the last time y'all seen me in my stethoscope? It's been a minute. Um, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Zed, back at it again with another video. I'm reporting to you live on my lunch break, but I'm here to respond to a comment that we received on this channel, which basically was asking, what is the best way to get into an ABSN program? If you didn't know what an ABSN program is, it's an accelerated bachelor's of science in nursing. Um, and I've gotten into two. I've gotten into two ABSN programs. So I think I have a little bit of a handle on what they are looking for, what is expected and what you are absolutely needing to do. And I'm gonna go over that in this video today. So if you feel like that's something you would like to know, stick around because we're about to get into it. But before we get into it, I have to definitely congratulate everybody who's been getting into their CNA programs, getting into their RN programs, getting accepted into jobs at hospitals. This channel has been here for three years now, and we've been running amok uh, with information, giving you guys what you need to enter the field and do well when you're in your perspective roles. Um, shout out to everybody who's also been supporting the channel. We're at 7K subs, and the channel's growing a mile a minute, so I can't um you know start this video without saying that first to get into an absn program they are looking for a good amount of things and i'll go ahead and list them off right now um remember this is just a general absn kind of qualification prerequisite um, that you are needing to do before you get in every school is different so if i'm missing something you know this is general very very general generally they're looking for a college graduate this is it's a mandatory you have to already have a bachelor's degree in a non-nursing major that's what i'm seeing on most of these schools programs a degree in a non-nursing major uh you need to have a t's score that's you know above national mean have the prerequisite classes as in your chemistry your anatomy and one anatomy and physiology one anatomy and Physi physiology two nutrition um statistics uh what am i missing statistics developmental psych and basically just all of your prerequisites. I don't think I'm missing anything. Some might require you to take like a global health class or something like that, but realistically, it's just those classes. Um, every program is gonna be different. So some might want you to have at least a B average in these uh, classes. Some might want you to have a C average in these classes. Most programs want you to have at least a C within your first attempt. That's what I'm realizing, that's what I'm seeing. Um, also, some classes might not require you, some programs might not require you to take chemistry and some might. My first program I got accepted to, they didn't require chemistry at all. My second one required chemistry for sure. So I made sure I had that prerequisite. Um, but the ABSM program, they want you to uh, also, also be a CNA within the state registry. That's definitely something that they're going to want to look for. Again, every program is not going to be the same, but realistically, they want you to have some type of experience as a CNA, and if not, at least have that CNA certification, and you need to be registered throughout the state. You need to have an, a good application, so you need to be able to compete well with your cohort. If your cohort is averaging A's and all these prerequisites, you want to make sure you at least can compete with that, because if you come in with just C's, basically a 3.0 uh, average on those prereqs, they might not accept you. But this is a point that I want to make because a lot of the pro the videos that I'm seeing on YouTube are saying you need to be a high, high, high performing student. I wouldn't necessarily say that that's true because I am I wasn't the most high ranking student when it came to the prereqs, but I did, uh, I was close, I was close. Uh, I was able to get B's in most of these classes, sometimes even A's in most of the prereqs. Chemistry, I had to retake, which a lot of programs don't want you to retake your uh, prerequisite before you get in, or they'll say like they won't accept you. That's not necessarily the case. Both programs wanted me to have at least a C on that first attempt. As you all know, my first attempt in chemistry was like a D, but literally was like 69.999. I was right there, but I had to retake chemistry over again. Um, I do think that my application, as in like my entry letter that you submit, did kind of let them look at me in a different way. And a lot of times you can win people over in your interview. So uh, just keep that in mind. You don't have to necessarily have an A average, B average, but you do need to be competitive when you are applying for these programs. Do not let the whole the whole term of we're only accepting people who got a C on their first attempt stop you from applying because you could stop yourself from getting admitted. Um, and basically that's really what it is. Um, 
also, 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 you want to make sure you apply early and not late. If you apply early, it gives them a chance to see you um, early and not basically not late. It gives them a chance to see you before they consider everybody. They are looking at who is applying. Usually when those applications open up, they get, you know, close to 50 to 100, depending on your area uh, applications. I'm talking about the day that they apply because people are waiting for these programs. I waited six months for my program to start after getting accepted into one already. Um, cost is definitely something you need to worry about when you are applying. Some programs are super high, like around the 60th range, 60,000 60, range. Some are ranked, you know, 100,000 range. I was lucky enough to get mine close to 20. Um, again, it is a bachelor's degree and it's accelerated. So you got to keep that in mind. Your first degree, you know, you have student loans typically if you already have a bachelor's, but um, cost is definitely something that you want to take a look at. Also, you don't want to apply for just one program. Depending on where you're at, you'll have multiple options. As for ABSN, I had about three options in my area that I could have applied for, and I applied for two. I got accepted into both. Do not stop on your first attempt because I also applied for two other programs and did not get accepted. My first program I applied for was a private school in Charlotte, North Carolina. I did not get in. Um, the next school that I applied for was another school uh, that I was late to apply. So I kind of figured that I wouldn't get accepted into that program. And I applied for two more. One was private, one was public. And I got into both. Um, the only reason I chose the one that I'm in currently is simply because of price. $60,000 compared to $20,000 for the same degree in the same time. You cannot beat that. Time is also something you want to take into factor when you are applying for these programs. Um, some are 16 months, some are 12 months. Uh, some have a clinical site, you know, here, here, and there. You might have to travel for your clinical site. Some have a clinical site right up the street. Again, I was lucky enough to get my clinical site very close to my school. Um, so these are all things that you definitely want to consider. Uh, but basically, there's not many videos that I see about the applying to an ABSN, things you could kind of look out for, what makes you a better candidate to get into an ABSN program. And that's definitely what I wanted to focus on for this video. Um, I feel like I'm missing a ton of things, but this is kind of off the cuff during my lunch break. Um, just to recap, if you made it this far, shout out to you. Um, make sure you have a good application. That's a good uh, application letter. That is good grades, good prerequisites. That is a strong T score. That is a strong interview. If you do, I actually had to move my car, but the things that you want to focus on when you are applying to these programs are your application. Application is kind of like the first thing that they see before they actually know if they want to allow you to be a candidate for the program or not. If you have a strong application with strong grades, have a strong interview, have a strong T score, and are doing well on the prerequisites, there's no reason for them not to accept you. The best advice that I would say is don't stop when you apply at one school. If you don't get accepted, um, apply, apply again. I didn't get accepted into my first two, but I ended up getting accepted to my last two. So keep that in mind. Um, I will maybe make a part two to this video because I feel like this is kind of like um, very much like quick information, but I can get more in depth with other things. Just make sure you guys comment below and let me know if I missed anything or if you have specific questions, I don't mind answering them. Um, and I may even make a video about them. So keep that in mind as well, but, uh, make sure to keep posting for you guys on my ABSN journey, um, from CNA to RN, um, hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, remember to just to comment below and let me know. I will make more videos as well, but, uh, I think that's all I have for y'all in this video. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting, all that good stuff. And I will see you on the next one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Peace. Ah.